Hey, this is Alex from the Good Old Boys Fantasy Football Podcast. To see more videos like this from the Good Old Boys, hit subscribe and support this independent podcast. Chase Edmonds, uh, running back 59 last year, uh, didn't really play much on either Miami or in Denver. Uh, 68 rush attempts, 245 yards, two touchdowns, 16 receptions, 24 targets, 157 yards, one touchdown. Thoughts on Chase Edmonds? I feel like he's nothing more than a spellback. Like Chase Edmonds does not threaten me if I'm a Rashad White owner. Um, he's not a handcuff. He's not prolific catching the ball out of the backfield. So I don't feel like I'm losing a bunch of targets there. Um, he can fall into the end zone, but he's also gets nicked up a little bit, right? He is a, a tad injury prone. Um, so I'm, I'm not really targeting Edmonds in any format. He doesn't really scare me, but I, I think he's there more of an insurance policy, maybe to help, you know, in some pass pro situations, that type of thing. Um, but overall, you gotta have you gotta have a second guy, right? Uh, you can't carry the ball every time, and you can't run it every single play. But Edmonds will see by the time the season's done over with. I think Edmonds sees something like twenty percent of the total snaps for the entire season. I think you're right, Kevin. I think he comes in as a as a as an insurance policy, as somebody that it has a little bit more maturity there in the room, because otherwise, you're talking about a bunch of young dudes in that in that locker room that have very minimal experience. So um, I think he's, he's brought in to be the elder statesman at the what ripe age of 24, 25, uh, 27, excuse me. Uh, But he's brought in to be the elder statesman in that room, a guy who's kind of been around uh, the league and knows how to carry his, his business. So realistically, like that's all fine and dandy for real football, but for fantasy purposes, it doesn't do a lot for you. Chase Edmonds, guy that will not be on any of my rosters when we get through the end of redraft season here. Um, and as a guy that, quite frankly, you can't even move in Dynasty. Like, if he's on your roster and he's taking up a spot, um, yeah, there's he's a really good cut candidate type of thing. And certainly hasn't been the guy that's kind of lived up to the hype that you know the fantasy community was really kind of pounding the table on about three or four years ago. Um, you know, none of that has come to fruition. I think we've just kind of seen what we're, what we're going to see and what we're going to get on this. And, uh, I think Kevin had it right when he said that, you know, less than about 20% of the total snap count on that sounds about right. Like this is a guy that unless injury happens, isn't going to see enough workload to, you know, to, to be worth a roster spot there.